Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Sabre 37 FLL 5th wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, and we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. Alright guys, we are now up inside the new 2022 Sabre 37 FLL 5th wheel here. We're going to start up here in the front living room section, then we'll kind of spin our way around the RV. So first things up, we do have a large TV up front. You have some cabinets on each side, electric outlet and USB charger ports on each side of the TV as well. Some lower cabinet area electric fireplace which is basically a cool little fancy electric space heater but it does uh, again kind of looks nice up there just above that you do have your stereo system which works the indoor and outdoor speakers mostly linoleum flooring up here you do have a little bit of carpet on the slide edges there just to kind of give them a finished off look the opposing sofas here do open and make into beds you have windows behind the sofa there that do actually open and they have the little pull down zebra shades there. Now facing your TV you do have a little theater seat area here. It has the little light up cup holders, has the lights down below, heat and massage and again it does recline. Back to the right of there is another electric outlet and some USB charger ports as well. Now, looking up top here, there are a couple speakers in the roof. You have ducted air conditioning as well. They're currently using the Coleman air conditioning system. You have a little shelf area behind the sofa, the theater seat area here. 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. Kind of coming down the step area here, you can obviously see we're entering back into the kitchen area here. On the right here, we do have some control panels. We'll come back in and check that out here in a little bit. Freestanding dinette with four chairs. You have the residential refrigerator over here by Everchill. And basically this is a large 12 volt refrigerator very cool it's one of the biggest 12 volt refrigerators on the market right now and then there's some storage next to that as well the slide floor does have a little bit of a lip to it you got to kind of step up into it a little bit but it does have a vinyl floor instead of a carpeted floor Nice big windows overlooking your campsite area here. Overhead cabinets as well. Larger microwave. Plenty of counter space here. Does have the undermount sink. Has a little uh, soap dispenser there. High rise spring sprayer faucet. The graystone oven with the glass front, light built in. Three burner stove top has the glass lid that folds down as well. We've got three drawers over here on the left and some storage space down below. Electric outlet on the end of the uh, island here and on the end of the peninsula. And you also have the uh, smoke detector, or sorry, propane leak detector down there. There's an electric outlet back there along with more USB charger ports. Some more controls here. So you got light switch, you have your furnace and air conditioner control. And there's also a power fan up here that you can turn on or open and close the vent right here as well. And 
just so you kind of see your pantry storage area here. Now going on back this direction, we are entering into the bathroom area here in the hallway. If you have a porcelain foot flush toilet, little sink area, some storage down below. Step-in shower does have the seat area, glass enclosure, and you have a little medicine cabinet area there. window area here for your hallway and going on back we have the loft is our next little area here so there is some storage here uh, this would be probably a really good place for some linens and towels and stuff there but you have a carpeted step area here that'll take you up and over here you have some storage space or you could put a smaller kid here but the main portion of the loft area is over here actually and this right here you have some storage area back there electric outlet USB charger ports uh, you can kind of see some air conditioning vents back here as well And there's some more storage over there. Some controls, there's TV hookups back here, USB charger ports, electric outlets again. Uh, some more storage over here on this side also. And then kind of climbing back down here. But a great little area for the kids to escape to, have a place to sleep. And then right back here is the master bedroom. So you step down into this bedroom area here. You have a camper king bed. A little slide out area over here for your closet area. more overhead cabinets electric outlet on each side of the bed again with more USB charger ports on each side of the bed plenty of room to walk around the bed area down here and then you have a little closet area over here as well and this is at the foot of the bed but basically, this area right here is really meant for a combo washer dryer if you wanted to add that. And then you also have a closet bar up there if you don't. So you could kind of use it either way. And there are TV hookups here as well. All right, we are going to run to the outside real quick. I'm gonna show you around the outside and then we're gonna come back in here and close this thing up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of the all new 2022 Sabre 37 FLL fifth wall here. We're gonna start here on the door side and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal skirting around the outside. The front slide out up here was one of your sofas that you seen when we were inside there. Now this does have some brackets on the top corners for Solar slide toppers. If that interests you, talk with your sales guy about that. That stuff can be put on aftermarket, but it's an awning cover that covers the top of your slide rooms. They're currently using the Schwintech slide system on the uh, side the slide outs up here. The unit has a four-point electric auto level system, so you have two jacks in the front and two jacks back behind the axles you'll see as we get back there. The front ones do have the quick pull pins to adjust the feet up and down. One of your 20-pound propane tanks, there's one on this side and there'll be another one on the other side you'll see when we get there. Little pet-friendly leash latch down here. And you have a large pass-through storage compartment here. 
There are TV hookups here as well. If you wanted to do a TV out here, you can feed it through the hole in the floor and basically set it up outside. The unit is currently using the more ride step above step. You got your quad entrance step to get in and out of here. The step flips right up inside the entry door there out of the way when you're not using it. And then you have a light bar now down there too to kind of light up that step area. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the RV. And your model number will also be located next to that main entry door. So if you're out shopping in a dealer's lot, you see a unit that you like, look for that model number, usually by the main entry door, and that way you know exactly what you're looking at and you can tell your salesperson. Traditional RV entry door here, so you got entry door, screen door, and it does have a window in this as well. There are two exterior speakers up above that big window there. Cold water spray port right here. There's a gas line hookup down there. You can see that sticker hanging down. So you got your gas line hookup right there for your little two burner gas stove top here, electric mini fridge, and a little dump sink right here. The unit is a dual axle unit. So you have drum brakes on all four wheels. You do have the large power awning here, and this awning does have adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff kind of stuff, uh, but it also has a light on each arm. So instead of one long strip close to the body of the RV, they put a light on each arm, so when that arm does come out, that awning's out further, that light kind of comes out further as well. There's your bedroom slide out that you've seen when we were in there. Again, that is on that uh, Lippert, Schwintech, or that some of them are referred to as in-wall slides. Up top there, you do have, uh, this one has a backup camera on it. Um, so that is a really nice feature to have. If that interests you, talk with your sales guy about that. They'll be glad to go over that stuff with you. Right here you have the power cord area and it basically plugs right into the rear end down here and stretches out. It's probably about 25 or 30 feet long roughly. Now you can see this again had that big loft on the back end so this has a really tall rear end uh, where some traditional fifth will slope down in the rear. But with having that big loft area up there for the kids, you do have a straight line roof on this thing. Just behind this rear electric stabilizer jack here, you have your black tank dump. And just up in front of that area right there, you have your galley and your gray tank dump. So you do have two separate dumps on this unit. Just in front of the slide here, you're gonna have your furnace exhaust out area here. Your 10 gallon gas electric water heaters right here as well. Down below is going to be the uh, low point water drains. And then over on the left over here, you have your dump hose holder and your fresh water tank drain. Up here you do have a little docking station area here. So you've got cable and satellite inlets here cold water outside shower, uh, water heater bypass system, winterization setup, uh, fresh water, and your uh, black tank flush fills all right here. The other 20 pound propane tank, on this side you do have the auto changeover regulator, the main regulator there. Step back here so you can see this a little bit better.
Now, just in front of that propane tank door, there's some stickers. And these are very important stickers to know what they are. The first one popping up here is going to be your main data sticker. And this data sticker has your VIN number, your axle sizes, uh, some tire information. But most importantly, it has your gross vehicle weight on there. That is the most you can load the RV up to before you really risk breaking things as far as axle weights and hitch weight and all that type of stuff combined. Next sticker popping up is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. That is what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is going to be your cargo carrying capacity sticker, which again is basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV. And last but not least is your tire stickers. Very important to pay attention to this because it has your tire pressure area on here. Uh, besides tire size, it's telling you tire pressure. Do not let your tire pressure drop too low. If it drops too low, it can easily blow out. Now, one thing that's kind of nice on the Sabre product here, it has these little valve stem caps you can see pop up here with the green, basically saying it's good to go. But if it drops and changes color, then it's telling you it's too low. So these are just little valve stem caps that you can actually buy aftermarket for other brands of RVs too. Uh, but it's kind of nice that they have these little special caps on there. Front cap here, you can see LED light strips and little LED lights built in there. Up front here is some jack controls and the light switch for those LED lights on the cap. Up in this section here, you do have battery compartment here, battery disconnect over there, spare tire is also stored in here as well. This particular unit again, weight wise, came in just under 11.5, so pretty easily towed by most diesel trucks as far as three quarter ton, uh, one ton type of trucks. So very nice setup here. We're gonna take a second, I wanna run back inside here guys. I wanna show you around the inside with it closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right guys, we are now back inside the 2022 Sabre 37 FLL. We're gonna close it up here. I just wanna kinda show you how some of this stuff works here. So you gotta come here to your main control panel. Uh, we have some other stuff here we'll talk about too, but first things up, main control panel right here. And when you hit this button, it basically kind of lights up the screen. I've already done that. And we're gonna come over here. You can see awning, leveling jacks, lights, and slides. So we're gonna go to our slide area right here. And then we have our controls. So you got bed slide, off door slide, sofa slide, sofa slide two. So you have two of those. We're going to start by bringing in sofa slide one. And these are the Schwentech in-wall slides by Lippert basically. Um, so they are electric motors and they are on a track system. You can see a track up here and there's another lower track down below. So you have two tracks on each side basically just brings the slide straight in and straight out slide number two here it's going to do the same thing basically just come straight in again guys don't forget to check out couches rv nation they are one of the largest internet dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a ton of money on a new RV. So slides all the way in. You kind of see what you got going on here. Um, it pretty much comes in right about to the edge of the uh, sofa here though. So you would have to step over the theater seat a little bit to get back into that area, but you could step over it and get back in there. If you needed to grab something out of one of those cabinets or you know, just kind of check on something back there. So pretty simple and easy to do. And when you're ready for the slide to go back out, you're gonna kind of do the same thing. You gotta hit the button to take that slide right back out.
and now back to the downstairs slides so next up would be our bedroom slide and I'm gonna take the camera back and kind of set it down back there so you guys can kind of see what that looks like closing up while I stand up here and do it all right so you can kind of see what this looks like back here and from up front you've got to hit that button that main control button again to bring that slide in That slide again is another Schwintec slide, and that basically is gonna come straight in and straight out also. So when that comes in, it stops just like the ones up front did, and you're gonna hit the button when you're ready to take it back out, and it'll go again straight back out. So pretty simple and easy to do. Now we're gonna head back up and show you the main kitchen slide. Okay, so back here to the kitchen area slide out. Uh, they call this the off door slide. And basically the same thing we did with the other ones. We're gonna hit the button to bring this in. So this floor comes up a little bit, kind of the slide comes up at an angle. This is a rack and pinion electric slide, so it does function a little bit differently than the other three slides. So when this is closed up, you can kind of see you can still come into the camper basically, get to a little bit of your kitchen counter space. The table prevents you from kind of getting by. So if you were to unscrew the freestanding table from the floor, because the factory screws it down, you could then kind of push the table out of the way and get by. But you would have to come up with a decent way to make sure that table doesn't move in transit. So you might come up with a little fastener or something. I'd like to see, I wish they would do that. Come up with a little fastener where you could flip it on and off somehow to keep that table from you know, falling over in transit rather than just screwing it down. That would allow you to come in here a little bit easier and get to your fridge and load it, load your cabinets and stuff like that without having to open the slide out. But for now, the way the factory sets it up, you would have to bump the slide out a little bit to get to that area. Now, when the slide's closed, you're not getting to your bedrooms or your bathroom. So keep that in mind. You do have to bump this slide out in order to do that. You again could kind of get up into your living room area a little bit, but you're not getting into the back area. So you have to run that slide out in order to uh, get back there. Going back out again, kind of the same scenario here. You're just pushing it out. If for some reason, you know, you were just kind of trying to get back there real quick to go get something, you don't have to go all the way out. You can just run it part of the way out, let off the button, go back, use the bathroom or go back and, you know, get to your bedroom or something like that. But if you're trying to leave it there for a little while or spend the night in a, you know, Walmart parking lot or rest area or something, you want to put that slide out all the way. You don't want to just let it hang out there partially if you can keep from it especially if it's raining it's got to be all the way in or all the way out so it doesn't leak if you do a partial thing like this it could leak fairly easy so remember that but again just hit that button again and that slide will go the rest of the way out hear that ratchety noise it's basically telling me it's all the way out or if I'm bringing it in, that's telling me it's all the way in when it uh, does that. All right, guys, again, thank you very much for taking the time to check out my videos. Surely do appreciate it, guys. Thanks again.